Hello everybody! This time, with this video, I just have an interesting story to tell you. No point, no little lesson hidden in there, just something neat for you to check out. There's something out there, and it's pretty neat. It's called Number Stations. Go ahead, take a moment, check it out on YouTube, see all the thousands of hits that come up when you search it. Go ahead. Number stations, for those who have no idea what I'm going into right now, are these shortwave radio stations that broadcast what basically amounts to nonsense, if you think about it on the surface. Some robotic voice comes on, man, woman, child, something, and gives off a series of numbers, letters, as an example, they go Charlie, Alpha, Beta, Theta, Epsilon, and then repeat that a bunch of times, and then say some other letter number combinations, perhaps it's in Morse code sometimes, and then it plays what is often really tinny music. Even in today's technology, it's always tinny music. Perhaps it's a rule, I don't know. Now why am I bringing this up, huh? I don't have a point, right? Well, this is for something for you to check out and see that this world is just a little bit bigger than you might have thought it was. You know, everything's explained, right? Everything's been answered now for the most part. Well, these haven't. I mean, we kind of know what they do. We know based on certain trials where one use pads, there's another thing to look up in conjugation with this, where one use uh, code pads were used with number stations to get encrypted messages from other places. So it's some spy stuff there. But there's thousands of these number stations running at different times and places. Russia, China, America, Spain, Mexico. Some of them are believed to be used by drug runners, using them to transmit code back and forth and hiding them in the whole mess that is number stations. You know, one more number station is really not going to be noticed by anyone. But the thing is, no one really wants to talk about these number stations. No government really wants to just sit there and own up, yes, we're running them, they've been going since World War II, and this is their purpose. No one wants to come out and say that. People are very vague about them, and... Quite honestly, this fuels a lot of conspiracy theories, people talking about transmissions to aliens or some craziness like that, and I don't believe any of that. I don't believe any of that, really. Perhaps it's true. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say for certain that this cannot be the case, but preponderance of evidence suggests that they're full of craziness. Really, I bring this to you just as a note of, look at it, check it out, listen to it, and... Hey, you know, enjoy the fact that this world is slightly less explained than we might think it is. Enjoy some random lady or person going off on some numbers for a little bit, and just allow your mind to wander just a little bit. Think about what it could be for. Exercise that imagination you got in your head just a little bit, huh? And most importantly, most importantly, just take it for what it is. An interesting little phenomenon that occurs in our world that makes things interesting. Don't blow it out of proportion and turn it into, it's a secret signal to, I don't know, Orion to keep away the alien brain monsters. You know, that, there's no need for that. Just take it for what it is. Something fun and neat in this world. Check it out. 